Hey everybody, well this is part two of my haul and this will include the items that I got from Mac and I'm trying out a new Sony uh, camera that I got. It's HD which is a little bit creepy because it really shows like absolutely everything so I better make sure that everything's clean especially behind and that my face looks really good. But anyways, and I'm also going to use my glasses in this video because I want to make sure I get all the names of all the products correctly. Now this is from that uh, Pret a Papier or piece of paper line that uh, MAC just came out with and this is really a nice line. I'm really enjoying this. As I said in part one, this has really been the funniest um, line ever to pronounce. I, at store after store that I've gone into, I've said to people, could you pronounce the name of the line for me and do it slowly? Of course, what I wanted to know was correct pronunciation so I could do it for on the my video. and. I've had more people roll their eyes at me and say, I'm not even going to try. We have no idea of how to pronounce it. So for anybody out there that is uh, French, either from Canada or, of course, from France, uh, if you want to send me a video response with the correct pronunciation, I'd really appreciate it. But in the meantime, let me tell you what I, what I picked up. The first thing that I picked up, which I absolutely adore, I have used this every day since I got it, and it's called the, um, let's see, Crayon Multi-Usages, the Chromographic Pencil. And it's, um, I think it's like a one color for all. It's an NW25 slash NC30. And let's see how that looks on this camera. Now, they say that you can use it as a concealer, you can use it as a liner. What I've been using it as is I've been doing my waterline with it, and it is fabulous. Now, a lot of people use the white. I find the white to be a little bit harsh for me. I just like the to emphasize making my eyes look bigger, and I think the easiest way for me to do that is by using a nude pencil and doing the waterline. And then when I do the tight lining, I'll do like a darker color. I've been using um, the Armani Purple Stick um, eyeliner that I got, which I really love. But this has been absolutely fabulous, and it goes on so creamy smooth. It's just all right, I've said enough about it. This is really something you have to go and try. I love it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go back and get some, uh, get another one because I'm sure, as with all the great products that we love from MAC, they discontinue them. So I want to make sure that I have this for a very, very long time because I adore it. Uh, the next thing that I got from that line is I got um, a paint pot in Groundworks. And let's see. You'll have to let me know if the color is coming out better with this new camera. This is fabulous. I actually have been using this just as my base and my color. And, you know, the nude look is really popular. And I have spoken about doing a video, and I'm, I am going to work on one. But every magazine that you open up lately, everything is that nude look. And it's really a great, great look. And it's really a great look, too, um, as you get older. Um, if, you, if you work on emphasizing your features rather than masking your features, you'll find that your skin will really look better, your eyes will be brighter, so you need to learn how to, to emphasize um, your positive and not try to cover up what's not great because nobody's perfect. You can never have perfect skin. I've done different treatments, I've done the TCA peel, and yes, my skin is definitely a lot better, but it's not perfect, and I know that it will never be perfect. So I concentrate on making my eyes look very bright, I go to a new lipstick, I make sure that my um, nail polish is bright, that my clothes, my hair color, all these other things look really good, and then I try to play down, actually, the makeup. Even though I use makeup every day, I try to play it down. So back to this color, I've used this as a base and as a color right into my crease. And then the other um, paint pot that I got from MAC, which is not in this line, it's in their regular line, is the um, Soft Ochre, Okra. And let's see if I can get that in there for you. This is a um, beige color with like a little hint of yellow in it. So I use that as my highlighter from my crease up. Um, I use the Groundworks as my base and as my eyeshadow color. I use the Armani uh, eyeliner in the purple color and then loads of black mascara. And it is a fab, oh, and of course my new lovely pencil that I love. Great look. I mean, my eyes, you can see, my eyes really pop and yet there's really no definite color on my eyes. So it's really, what, what all of this is doing is letting my natural eye color come, come out. And it's really, really awesome. Uh, the last thing that I got from MAC is I got one of the new lipsticks, the Viva Glam lipstick, and I got it in the Gaga. And I'm wearing it now. I don't know if you can see the color. Uh, let me do it like this. 
It, the camera is definitely brighter. I just think maybe I need to work on the light for you guys so that it gets, I have the light casting the right kind of shadow. Now, the great thing about this is, which I didn't realize until afterwards, is that these are all done for charity. So the Viva Glam is the um, Lady Gaga one and then the uh, Cindy one. 100% of the proceeds is going to go to charity. So I was thinking about it, and as you know, I have my 200 plus subscriber contest going on, and I'm almost at the 400 mark to be able to give out uh, the Ever Hip Lipstick that's going to be the prize for that contest. And I thought, well, I probably will end up doing another um, contest, and how great would it be if I do a contest and give away an item that also goes to charity? So I went and purchased the um, Viva Glam Cindy, which, oops, of course I'm holding it up in a box like that's going to, you're going to be able to see the color apologize for that. Let me quickly open it for you. I don't want to really touch it because it will go out to somebody as a gift. So that's that color. It's really a pretty shade. I'm not sure that I'm going to get one for myself. I tried it in the store and wasn't crazy about it, but I might try it again. And I'm going to try to get another of the um, Lady Gaga one and have those two to do for future contests. Um, I don't know yet when that's going to be, but I am going to keep it for that because I think as much as I appreciate everybody subscribing and I really want to uh, run a contest that you could win one of these, I also love the idea that the proceeds um, will go to the HIV AIDS Foundation charity, and I think that's just a great cause. So that's it for my Mac haul. Um, that's it with my new camera. You let me know what you think, but got to try this. It's awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. I'm going to be working on a couple other videos. I'm working on one called Falling in Love Again because I've decided that every day that I see a new YouTube video and we're all going out and buying all these great new products, I keep thinking, hmm, we're going out and using all of these new products. There's no way that we've used up all of our old products. So what's gone to the back of our drawers that we've probably forgot about and maybe you should think about recycling and being back to the front? So I'm going to be working on that video too. Have a great week, everybody. I'll probably see you maybe towards the end of the week. Comments always below. Thumbs up, of course, below. And subscribing is also below. Take care. Bye-bye.